Hey guys, before we jump into the video, I do want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is iHerb. You guys have probably heard of iHerb before. If you guys are not familiar with them, they are basically your one-stop shop for all things health and wellness, beauty products. They have so many different categories of things that you can choose from. They have beauty, they have health, they have nutrition and grocery, they have kids, they have pet stuff. They pretty much have it all. They have over 30,000 products to shop from, all at discounted prices, which is the game changer. Now they ship to over 180 different countries. They have 24 seven customer support. They have a reward program where you can earn money and points and they have a 90 day money back guarantee on all iHerb brand products. So they really value their customers. They're a really, really great company. I've been using them for years now and I love getting all things healthy. That's gonna be my haul today. So I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul here with you guys, pantry haul if you will. I needed to stock up on some of my health slash nutrition products and you can't really beat the prices. So the first thing that I got is my Vega One chocolate smoothie. This is my protein that I use and have been using for years now. Uh, I pretty much have one of these a day and it's filled with nutrition. There's tons of vitamins, fiber, vitamins, protein. It's like everything in one. It has probiotics. My favorite is the chocolate flavor. I also picked up some almond flour. This is really good to bake with. It's basically just blanched almonds. That's the only ingredient. They have a ton of superfoods. I also picked up some Lara bars. I used to eat these all the time. So this is my favorite flavor, obviously. I got the chocolate chip cookie dough. There's only a few ingredients in this as well. It's dates, chocolate chips, sea salts, vanilla, apples, and cashews. And it literally tastes like you're eating cookie dough, but you're eating really healthy food. So this is a really quick and easy snack, especially if I'm craving anything sweet. And then last but not least, I picked this up. This is the green superfood, amazing grass daily green powder you can put this in water and chug it if you're brave but i personally like to put it in my smoothies it is very alkalizing it cleanses your body um it has a ton of greens in here it has wheatgrass barley grass alfalfa spirulina marola broccoli spinach beetroot carrot there's like so much stuff in here that is all superfoods it's like one scoop and you're done you get all the benefits so this is really nice there's no sugar added or anything like that um, so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm ready to get my summer body on. That's that's the goal. So stocked up on all the health goods. I will link all the IO products that I mentioned in the description box for you guys. And yeah, I'll leave everything down below for you guys if you're interested. Thank you to IO for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump into the vlog. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently Monday and we're starting off this week with a week in my life. I'm actually super busy this week because I'm going back home next week. So I have a lot of videos I need to film for brands and just for my channel in general. I'm gonna try my best to film as many videos as I can so that you guys have some videos when I'm gone. I have five videos I'm filming this week. So we have this one, the week in my life, a food diary, so a what I eat this week. So I'm gonna be filming like two weekly vlogs kind of this week. And then I'm gonna be filming a skincare video, like an updated skincare routine, a almost sort of Manifestation Wednesday video. I tried filming one of these another week and I honestly just like got in my head and I was like, I don't like it. So I didn't put it out. But now I've been like kind of writing up a more motivational style video that I actually really am liking so far. So hopefully that'll make it. And then I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. We have clothes coming towards the end of this week. I went on like a total rampage online. I haven't bought clothes to myself in a minute. I think also like being an influencer, you get a ton of free stuff. So I almost feel guilty now. This is really bad, but this is what you know, it happens. Like, when you get a ton of free stuff, you're like, why would I buy it if I can get it for free? I haven't bought, like, actual clothes for myself, like I said, in a minute. I'm trying my best, too, to, like, be more conscious of the things that I'm purchasing and buying for myself. Like, I really just want more quality stuff rather than quick, fast fashion. And these are all clothes that I really, really like. I'm really excited to get them in, but that'll be towards the end of the week. I'm also getting my teeth whitened this week. That'll be tomorrow. I'm gonna go film my breakfast for my wedding in, in a week. And then I am gonna probably run on the treadmill a little bit, get in some nice cardio. I have some really greasy hair this morning, so I need to take a shower and I love starting the week off with cardio. It just puts me in like the best mood. I wanna film a video. I feel like Mondays are such a like work hustle for me. I just like getting as much done on Mondays. That way towards the end of the week, I can kind of like gradually lean off the hustle mode. Welcome to my week. 
All right guys, I'm actually filming a video right now. I'm gonna be filming an updated skincare routine. I haven't done one of these in a minute. I tried like all new skincare for this month and last month. I really like the products. I feel like they're very luxury and not my typical style, but I like them. They're like cult classics, if you will. I did a lot of research and bought the best of the best. Look out for that video. I feel like this video is gonna go up before that one. If not, I'll pop it on the screen. Ran this morning, just a mile. I did a 10 minute mile. I really need to focus on decreasing my average time for mile for a mile. I just get so bored running now. I don't know. I need to maybe switch it up or something. Like I like to do sprints on the treadmill, but maybe I'll like venture on outside or something. The weather's getting a little bit warmer. And then we did yoga this morning. We did like a 47 minute yoga class. It's like a YouTube video I found. It was so nice to do yoga. I was like doing it in the beginning and I was like, oh, this is so annoying because I used to do yoga twice a day in college. Obviously during quarantine, the gym didn't have the classes. So I thought they would have classes now because they were starting to open classes back up it's like outside stuff but there was no yoga on the schedule so i was like i'm just gonna knock it out this morning like i haven't done it in a minute work on posture flexibility that kind of thing i was doing it and i was like oh my god this is so not fun because yoga is like really slow it's definitely a mental like workout as well it's weird because like you're in pain but you're mentally like at ease like you're calm so it's like it's a lot of work it's really tough it's hard to get in the mindset like if you're doing cardio and you're sweating and you're like going fast paced and building muscle like it's very adrenaline rushing but yoga is very calm yet you're like in pain and you just want to like lay down but halfway through i was like more limber because my body was more warm and it was easier to do like the postures and stuff and it, it like came back to me but i feel like yoga is the kind of thing once you stop your body just never gets back to it unless like you practice daily so it was so frustrating because i left it actually okay decent but i've never been able to like fully get back into yoga like i just i'm not as i don't know dedicated to it I, I guess but i feel like once you do it a few times your body will like limber up a little bit it feels better but anyway i'm gonna film this video i really want to watch the grammys i think they were like last night or something but i'm seeing all the like trending videos on youtube right now and i'm like vacation mode already i want to go home but i have so many videos like i said that i gotta film so i'm just sitting here wasting time by speaking to this vlog so i gotta go film i had a super super duper busy work day today i had the brand deal come in so i had to shoot for that i had another brand deal that i needed to send videos out to and then i had to do like an instagram post just a lot of computer work today i also filmed a video so yeah i just did a lot of stuff today mondays are typically like that for me are they like that for you guys even during quarantine and stuff i i don't know why i just feel like so productive on a monday i feel like all my emails come in on monday like over the weekend emails that were like left unread i just made this bomb wrap with buffalo chicken tenders with panko crumbs and stuff i put the recipe in my what i eat in a week video oh my god it's so good all right guys we're gonna sit here we're gonna watch the grammys i actually have yet to see them because i don't have live tv so it'll give me like an hour two hours worth of time to kill but i've heard and seen some of the youtube performances and stuff and they're pretty amazing i'm really excited to watch them so we're sitting here watching it and it's so weird because there's like nobody there it's like kind of eerie i like what they did with it you know like it's really pretty but we're still on the like mon monologues weird i hope the rain don't come in november I just finished watching. It was so good. I felt like it was like a mini concert. I literally wrote down notes because I want to talk about it. If you guys watch the Grammys, number one, the baby. Wow. He did Rockstar in like a totally different vibe. There was like an orchestra, a choir. Like I was like, oh my God, so impressed. He was definitely like super artist, like vibes, which I love in an artist. Like I feel like there's an artist and there's like artiste. He was an artiste. I felt like the visuals were insane. Taylor freaking Swift. I literally am crying even thinking about it. That album and Evermore. Oh, and she sang three songs. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, we're getting spoiled. The tribute, Bruno Mars singing Honoring Little Richard was incredible. That was Noah's favorite part, but it felt like you were in the 80s, like jamming out. Lil Baby's whole entire performance was um amazing the visuals were insane i felt like it was so impactful it showed you how one thing literally can just create so much chaos change and impact and it was beautiful beautiful i was like crying beyonce freaking winning records was 
phenomenal phenomenal she's so shy do you realize that like she's insanely talented like female boss power she performs with like such a boss attitude and then when she was out there she's just so quietly like timidly shy it was so weird to see her like that billy freaking eilish won record of the freaking year something that bugs me about her is that i freaking love her music and stuff and even if you think that someone else should have won like you should at least own it like your brother helped you with that like album and song and it takes away from it and makes other people feel uncomfortable like i'm sure megan the stallion was like oh my god she probably thinks like the same thing but there's one thing to like say it but to sit there and like downplay yourself over and over and over again it like is kind of annoying you know anytime billy plays i'm just like oh my god so now i'm gonna watch AJ, if you guys know her on YouTube, she basically does reactions to like albums and stuff like that. And her like music style and I think her reactions are very similar to like what I think. Noah watched it with me, but he's not really into this. I like to talk about it. Like I want to talk to you guys about it right now. I wish this was going live so I can go through the comments and be like, oh my god, oh my god. But I'm just gonna watch AJ. I'm really excited to see what she thought because I need to talk to somebody. <laughs> that was really good. That was like way better than I thought. I'm highly, highly impressed, but I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed, take my makeup off, brush my teeth and hit the hay. It is currently snowing and super gloomy out, so we're just gonna do another chill like day in. And I thought I would do something a little bit different and more exciting. You guys probably remember Try Treats. I did this in a separate vlog. Basically, you subscribe and you get treats from around the world. They have so many different countries. And they sent me over another one, which is so exciting. They gave you guys a discount code. It's Renee Amberg, and you guys can get 15% off. It's just trytreats.com. They sent me treats from Malaysia this time we're gonna try them out this is so fun we get a whole box of goodies southeast asia and excuse we're making corn so corn is boiling if you guys hear a weird noise in the background so first thing is first this is one tin roll it kind of looks like a twinkie it's like a ugly twinkie our twinkies in america are much more fluffy than this it's literally a twinkie come on okay He's scared. It's actually really good. It tastes kind of like vanilla. Munchies crackers chocolate sandwich. Kind of looks like graham crackers, milk chocolate in the middle. Comment down below if you if you guys are from Malaysia or if you guys have these snacks in your country. This is what it looks like. Mmm. Oat crunch dark chocolate. Again, munchies. I guess this is like a really popular brand. They're like little oat. Oh gosh, they're crumbling. Little oat cookies. It's just not as sweet. It's like a weird after flavor. Oh my god. Whoa! What the heck is this? Assorted pudding? Oh, I don't like pudding. I guess there's like grape, mango, raspberry, strawberry. This is weird. I kind of want to do a strawberry. Mmm, they smell like Starburst. They come in like a weird package like this. I've never seen anything like this. I can see kids liking this. Oh! <laughs> oh my god there's something in it it's not just pudding consistency like there's like little bubbles in it i can only assume it's like fruit or something i see one that noah likes i am not even going to try to pronounce this but they're mm. wafers the only problem is that they're not hazelnut these are my kind of thing a chocolate wafer we have some of these in the states actually i think they're belgium but we have them here Italian. This has no sugar. I think I'm just like so used to sugar that everything else tastes so bland. I've heard that Coke in other countries is not as sweet. Peach gummy. This one looks really good. I love gummy bears. Okay, this kind of looks like we have something similar to this. With the brand that starts with an H. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good. Salt and lemon candy? Who puts salt in their sweets? Looks like a cough drop. <coughs> Ew. Ew, it tastes like I just went into the ocean. It's so salty. Mm. Ew. Oh, really? If this was on the challenge, I would lose this. I can't eat that. Does it get sweet after at least? No. What's with the jelly? It doesn't say what flavor it is. How do you even eat these? I feel like this is going to be really messy. Green or yellow, green or yellow. Look at that. It's literally like a jello shot. That's really sweet. Now it's looking at like a dog. Potato chips. I'm assuming just like salted potato chips. Oh, they're like puffed kind of. This tastes like sour cream and onion, but it doesn't have a flavor. I like these. They're so good. I wish you guys could see it here like oh. original cream cracker what the heck is a cream cracker this is weird it's like flaky i don't know if you guys can see all right malaysia if i ever go to malaysia if you guys ever go to malaysia get these potato chips that noah's like crunching on these are good the peach gummies are really really good everything else i'd pretty much pass i think the twinkie was actually pretty good interesting what do you rate malaysian food on a scale of one to ten Six. i would give it a three they have like a little section here where you can rank them weird to best it's a fun time especially if you have like a family to do it with it's fun I'm gonna 
head to the grocery store because I am craving a shot of espresso. I actually didn't have coffee this morning or matcha or anything. Usually I will have like a caffeinated beverage, but I'm just feeling so ugh right now i don't know if it's like the weather but i've been feeling like this since yesterday i have like no motivation to do anything it's so weird it's like one week i'm so freaking motivated and i'm like you can't freaking stop me and then the next week i just like i think it's like burnout i want to take a break but i know that if i do that i'm gonna just get further deeper into this like blah feeling i need to go anyway pick up my packages go pick up some creamer hopefully like getting outside or something will give me a little bit more pep in my step but right now i'm just kind of like ugh. I want to go to the gym too, but I'm just like so lacking the motivation. Alright guys, I'm on my way to the gym. I really don't want to go to the gym today and I've just been debating, should I go, should I not go? I feel like if I just knock it out, I can get it over with real quickly. We're gonna go, even though I want to lay in bed all day. Let's do it. Make it easy like one, two, three. Go, go, on three, two, one. I fly out till you can't see me. Swish, yeah. Darling, from the first whistle, we go all in. All in. And one, call it. Numbers up and never falling. My baby called me and said she need to stay. Be for well, 25 to the other type of kid. Stop playing with me, you know that you're here to stay. Stop playing with me, I'll be back home in eight. No, I'm on the go, but I'm not over you. I'm not over you. Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday. Today I'm actually headed over to the dentist. I am going to go get my teeth whitened by a laser, I think it's called Zoom Whitening. I've done a, a little bit of research and I tried like the Crest White Strips and all that stuff and for me like, I don't know, it's just like not working as much. The before and afters of the Zoom are like really, really nice. I'm gonna do it. I think I have to sit there for like an hour. This is the before. You can tell like I have a little bit of yellowing here. I really like this laser because it's not like an at-home whitening kit or anything like you'll see the results when you leave So we shall see see you on the flip side So I'm back uh, This is the after now if you guys can see like the dots here kind of like spotting That's actually somewhat normal and I used to get those with the crest whitening strips as well But they just go away in two days, but they look so much wider but I was doing it and it's like basically this huge thing that you put in your mouth like this and you do four sessions of 15 hours he was saying like how you can take pain medicine after and all this stuff and I was like getting worried I'm like is this supposed to hurt like I knew there was sensitivity and he's like no just sensitive sometimes and I thought like sensitive like if you touch a popsicle on the bottom of your tooth or something or you like drink cold water but oh my god the last session it was like this weird like nerve feeling it would be like so painful like sharp pain and then it would go away completely go away and he's like is it going on and off and i was like yeah it's like just right here and i was even walking back home and it was so sharp that i had to like stop walking i was like oh it goes away and then you're fine and then all of a sudden it just like hits so he said that should last like two days i'm not supposed to drink anything like dark um eat any dark foods or anything like that for two weeks sorry two days i'm in a little bit of pain so i took some advil i think i'm gonna relax the rest of the day i want to go to the gym and do some abs if i can but right now i'm just gonna focus on relaxing probably working in bed it's just been that kind of week working from bed lazy it's like super gloomy out too that's probably why i've just been feeling mm. happy friday so i actually didn't film at all yesterday i was in so much freaking pain from the teeth whitening which by the way this is the final product I feel like I can definitely notice a difference, but I wasn't aware of the extreme pain that comes from it. So when you look it up on Google and when you even talk about it with your dentist, they're like, yeah, I can cause sensitivity and blah, blah, blah. And I've done teeth whitening strips and I have sensitive teeth. Like I just thought like if I put like a popsicle on my teeth or something, it would just be sensitive. Yeah, no, there's a thing called zingers. It's like extreme sharp pain. For like one to five probably 10 seconds like max it feels like you're getting electrocuted because it's like your nerves so it's like extreme pain and then it just goes away it just like zaps it's it was so freaking painful i was crying all night not last night but the night before that and yesterday i just wanted to lay in bed because i was like oh, so much pain and it was like lingering the next day like i wasn't getting as many zingers imagine like going and then like that cold like kind of hurts your teeth a little bit it was like slowly but surely starting to feel better and now i don't feel anything really is it worth it in my opinion no the pain was so bad i just wasn't aware 
and I was like googling the zingers and a lot of people were like my dentist never told me they said sensitive and I remember he was doing it like he was in the process and he was like you can take pain meds after and I was like that's weird like why would I take pain meds and then he mentioned something like I don't want to torture you I was like torture me and then I started feeling it I was like oh my god this is so bad I woke up this morning and I filmed a clothing haul I have lots of new clothes I have like Gymshark, Free People, Zara, Princess Polly I do have some more clothes coming from Abercrombie but they're not coming until way later so I'll probably share that in a separate vlog but there's some things in here that I need to return and exchange so I'm probably gonna just do that it's been two days technically when he said I shouldn't be drinking any darker beverages or food but I'm really craving and I've been wanting to make an iced coffee with sweet cream that the Starbucks has. I bought like a healthier vanilla syrup. So let's try to make that. I'm just gonna drink it with a straw. But I've been like waiting, 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 waiting. I'm gonna see if I can make that and then just do a lot of work. I need to edit this video that I just filmed and get it out for you guys. Oh, freak. I have to film the sponsored portion of the video too. So I gotta do that real quick, edit that, get it out. Just lots of like boring computer work. Happy Friday. Let's make this. I'm so freaking excited. So I found this recipe. I mean, it's not really a recipe. It's literally two ingredients. I've been really into these like super aesthetic coffee freaking videos on youtube they're like aesthetic coffee like recipes they're so satisfying there's like asmr in it it's just beautiful cherry g g e made a video called four coffee recipes i've looked up a lot of the sweet cream recipes like the starbucks sweet cream but a lot of them are like so freaking complicated and this girl made it in two simple ingredients so let's try it out basically all you're gonna need is iced coffee which we have right here and then she used almond milk but i kind of want to use oat milk but i'm not gonna like mess up the recipe so i feel like that would happen she used a little bit of vanilla syrup and you just put it in the frother and it makes a sweet cream i found this on amazon it's huge i was not expecting it to be this big i don't think i'm gonna use this much but this one's organic i'm like really weary of syrups and stuff because a lot of the times they contain like high fructose corn syrup or like artificial flavors this one is no artificial ingredients gluten-free vegan cane sugar water natural flavor and vanilla extract so it can't be too bad right Whoa, that's strong. Put a little bit of almond milk and vanilla creamer and vanilla frother. I know that they do like pumps at Starbucks. So let's say that this is a pump. It's gonna be so gross if I put too much. That's one pump, right? Let's do another half. Wait, we should make it super aesthetic with them. Let's try it. That was a fail. It didn't come out as like a cream. Maybe I should have put more vanilla. Mm -hmm. guys i've been sitting here all day i did run outside to go to the ups store for the return I'm just gonna go to zara to return the zara stuff zara's website is like so confusing to begin with every time that i put something in my shopping cart even though i was logged in with my actual account it would just keep refreshing and saying timed out like expired i was like i'm getting a bunch of stuff like chill it was like 30 minutes i was feeling so good this morning and like super motivated last night you know that feeling when you're sick and then you start feeling better and you're just like oh my god i'm so grateful that i feel better like you never know that you needed your teeth so much or like you didn't experience teeth pain and how much that can affect your life or you know just simple things like that i like got a kick and now i'm kind of like drained because i hadn't done that in a bit but i'm exhausted i worked so much today i think i'm gonna end the vlog here just take a chill ending to the week because i had a rough week kind of start off blown i was in pain i'm super motivated but i was working i think i like overworked so i'm kind of like burnt out right now but yeah we're gonna watch a challenge probably order some takeout and i have to film another video tomorrow i have just a few more days to florida so i have a lot of stuff to do which is fine i like it like that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'll see you guys all in a future one